he came to see me once, and I think I, I, I tried to spit in his face. Okay. In, in Rikers Island. So that's probably why he didn't come back here. Uh, he's a billionaire. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have been a billionaire. If I would have cooperated with the district attorney, he'd have went to jail, and heaven knows what would have happened to his career. I felt he owed me something. And so it's like, you know, he, he probably gave me like 50 racks. In a recent Breakfast Club interview, former bad boy artist Shine Reveals Diddy only gave him $50,000 after serving 10 years in prison for the 1999 club shooting. He also admits he tried to spit in Diddy's face when he came to visit him in prison. Mm -hmm. So there wasn't an instant forgiveness. I got out in 2009. We didn't, uh, there wasn't an attempt at reconciliation until 2012 when I went to, to Paris to meet him. Um, and, and that was the first attempt at forgiveness. But I was still in a place of he owes me. He owes me his life. He owes me, uh, he's a billionaire. If it wasn't for me, he wouldn't have been a billionaire. If I would have cooperated with the district attorney, he would have went to jail and heaven knows what would have happened to his career, right? So, you know, that's worth at least a couple million dollars out of the billion that you're worth. And interestingly enough, you know, one of the things that Cassie alleges in her uh, lawsuit is that when, you know, he would assault her, then he would, you know, take her on shopping sprees. And so I saw that in Paris. He spent like a half a million dollars, like in one day. Uh, shopping for her and then you know after I left she was around back then that's 2012 oh 2012 okay okay yeah, yeah 2012 yeah, gotcha. mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying that was the first attempt at reconciliation gotcha, after gotcha, I, got gotcha. out. Mm -hmm. I got out in 2009 mm -hmm. and then it took a couple of years before I said you know we reach out I was actually living in Israel at the time mm -hmm. and um but I felt he owed me something and so it's like you know he he probably gave me like 50 racks and I'm like you know you can't be serious like are you, you, that's 10 years 50 racks like oh man. so that whole 10 years you were in jail he didn't reach out to you at all he he came to see me once and I think I, I, I tried to spit in his face okay in, in Rikers Island so that's probably why know, he didn't come back yeah I, I didn't want I didn't want him to come back I didn't even want him to come see me I didn't even know he was coming to see me they just brought me down in the lawyer's office and, and you know so you did an angry bit um I was, I, I really, you know, my life was destroyed, devastated, and I was figuring out how to continue living, buried alive, and, and I didn't want anything to do with him. Um, and yeah, there was a lot of hurt and a lot of pain mm -hmm. in that, but I wasn't just sitting there. I'm angry. I sat there. I got into my spirituality, got into my Judaism, you know, I did the deal with Def Jam. You know, a couple, mm -hmm. couple million dollars, put out Godfather Buried Alive album, uh, album I love, um, and, you know, continued living every day to get out. Um, but, yeah. When I was a, a 18 year old kid, um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do, be recognized for our talent and uh, take over the world. Uh, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave, I moved on, but let us not pretend as if I was in Miami for Thanksgiving and Christmas well, I and I spent a birthday with him once. I, I saw a birthday cake. I went again to do a charity event for impoverished youth uh, in London. Um, so let us not lose sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood this is someone who destroyed my life and who I forgave and who I moved on and for the better interest of Belize uh, because he was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest um, I would not uh, deny uh, attempting to 
bring the investment to Belize and to bring the contributions to education to Belize. But don't distort it as if, you know, he and I were boom ballet. Uh, this is someone that destroyed my life, but do I take any joy or any satisfaction with what he is going through? Um, absolutely not. I, I, I am different than maybe other people. No one needs to fail for me to succeed. No but one, no one needs to suffer for me. In your, at, the, at the height of your professional relationship or thereafter through the reconciliation, when he was an instrumental part of promoting you through Revolt Media, did you, were you aware of these freak off events and were you aware of them? Did you have any participation in them? Oh my goodness, Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Jules Vasquez. Were you aware of them? Jules Vasquez. <laughs> were you aware of the freak offs? So I, I, I had nothing to do with Sean Combs' uh, personal life, no interaction. That level, everything was strictly on a professional level. Yo, so I'm just, you know, I'm in my bag right now, crazy. I got my brother here. Y'all see him, the leader of opposition in Belize, my brother. Sean, we'll be getting to that later. But um, I'm, I'm not a hater, though. I'm not a hater. I'm a connoisseur of fly shit. And I'm just telling y'all, y'all getting tricked by the Richard Millie. The Richard Millie is like a, 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 a Timex or some shit like that. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all, it's, it's not hot. It's not hot. It's not hot. I have like two or three. I never pull them out, they ugly. I don't even want to hate. I don't even know Richard Millie. But fuck, I'm on some black shit. Black man, save your money and go buy a house. Hey, my brother, love, love, cheers, love you. Hey, hey, everybody, you know, pipe down. It's my opinion. I love fly shit, that's my opinion. It's like somebody could be like, yo, they like, you know, the Rolls Royce Phantom over the Bentley Musain. I personally would take the moon same. Many of y'all may not take that. So it's like live your life and understand I said what the fuck I said. Yeah, get some property, black man and woman. Let's go. Yeah, you, we know what to do. I got, yo, yo, I tricked, but I got some property. Order your natural soaps and body oils, natural detox, CBD sticks and pre-rolls, vapes, hair and skincare products. 20% off at night and dayherbals.com.